drill. Here, 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 and here. This is, uh, I'm working on that mount first. That, I went ahead and tightened up that mount. That mount is uh, in the new holes. And so is this one. Oh, well, it makes a real nice straight edge. Yeah, that's what I thought. So that is... So this one is already in the new holes? Yep, that one's already in the new holes. I haven't tightened it up because <clears> there's <throat> some exhaust mount brackets that go up here. It's going to go right in here. Okay. But this bracket, this cross member used to be all the way back here, right next to that one. So having this spacing on the cross members, not going to hurt anything. That will get to use the rear, the new rear mount. And get the cab up higher so that the exhaust can get routed here instead of down under there. Okay. So. I don't know how high the cab used to sit when they built it, but somebody's already had the cab off and the sleeper off and the hood. They've already done the, the truck has already been restored once and they just kind of made stuff up as they went kind of like how we're doing but they sat the cab a lot lower on the frame than we are yeah <clears throat> So this is the back of the cab and we were looking at a boot ring for this um, and the way this is in installed right now let me peek in here was just a metal trim just metal trim that covered a piece of rubber and then that rubber um, I think they actually they cut it so um, there's no lip on that. Uh, they just folded it over and and screwed that trim in. And let me see. <clears throat> Here's the sleeper. And they did the same thing here, which is kind of the idea that I had. I was, <laughs> I, I, I told you I'm a thrift store junkie here. I like to repurpose stuff and, and kind of work outside the box. Uh, and I was actually thinking about using uh, roll roofing because, you know, it's meant to be outside. So it would definitely hold up to the weather. Um, but we did find a boot ring <clears throat> that would possibly work. But you know, these hard corner, ang uh, uh, right at angle corners, that, doesn't work good with anything um, so we'll see we'll see what we decide now it the way they mounted it a hard right angle works just fine because you're not doing an overlap around the corner um, if you do something that folds around you're going to either need it to stretch or you're going to have to cut darts in it to ease it around um, either one would be okay as long as you don't cut into the part that is uh, supposed to be actually holding, keeping the water out. So that would, I don't know. We're, gonna, we're looking at a couple of pieces, um, but it's obviously going to be uh, made just for this. So, um, and I did play around with a little bit of embossing today learned a couple things and I worked on my headliner which I guess I could go show you okay so what are we doing we're raising up the front cab mount since we're using the old front cab mounts so and we're using the newer rear cab mount the rear cab mount is higher so what are you making it out of quarter inch steel that's what it's made out of just quarter inch steel Let me 
hold it while you weld? No, I'm gonna <laughs> go, no, that's good. I'm gonna go get some clamps. I'm gonna tack the back piece in first. I'm gonna tack that piece in first and then, uh, then I'll come back to these. Okay. Yeah. Almost ready. Not yet. Christopher's up here tack welding the the cab mount. Mm. We had a big piece of quarter inch steel. I don't remember what we got it for, but we had a great big piece of that laying in the yard and that worked. So while he works on that, let me show you what I got going on with the headliner. I had I had started making a video on my headliner and oh my gosh. Always practice with scrap piece of material first. Make sure you've got your design right. I did not have my design right um, and actually had to start with a new piece of vinyl, marine grade vinyl, um, which is not cheap. So uh, wasn't real excited about having to scrap a piece of $20 a yard material, but had to start over because it just, the technique I had used just wasn't working. So, but I'm much, much happier with this. I've pulled the, um, I guess half of the buttons through and I'll show you what it looks like on the other side. This is what the interior of Victoria is going to look like. Um, so these are these are Swarovski buttons. I have not pulled them tight yet. Don't get excited. They're going to get snugged up. I've just got them through the fabric right now and tacked tacked with tape. Pull through, double taped them. Um, and then I'm going to start from the center of the board and work my way out, tightening them down. And there's the speaker holes. And those, um, these right here with the pink circles around them, those, I put a button in there, but I'm going to have to redo that. I'm just putting it in there to get the, get everything tightened down correctly. Let's see, there's, I want to say there's five of them. Yeah. So one two, there's one in the middle, three, um, and four, and five. And those are actually snaps. Um, so I'm going to have to do a little configuring on how to get these Swarovski buttons um, riveted or tied on uh, to a snap. <clears throat> but that's where I'm at with this one. And I'm very, very happy with the way this has turned out so far, I'm really, really happy with. Uh, I've been on this project for like four days and every day I do something and I don't like it and I put it down and I go in and I think about it and I get busy with something else. I did the wrench roll up while I was thinking about this. Um, let me show you some. So this is the embossed vinyl. See the Crooked K? No, oh, it shows up really good. Um, now, a couple of things about this. I was using middle weight. Um, let's see, what does this say? It's high performance, but middle weight bonding. That is not strong enough for this. 
And um, this technique uh, is actually really easy. Um, all you do is cut out, I've got, I actually took pictures of stuff on the internet because it's just, it's difficult to find um, Crooked K stuff. So I just um, took pictures of things on the, with my, like screenshotted, then I printed it out on my, uh, my printer and then I shrunk them a little bit and the Crooked K on this one, I actually kind of freehanded with my drawing. Um, but I, will, I was really amazed. Now, the, okay, so there's a couple things I would change on this. And this is why I did a practice. This is just on, this is actually um, a circle board that I cut out of my, my panel over there for one of my speakers. And number one, I used just a single piece of um, post, not poster board, um, um, cardstock. That raised emblem is a single uh, thickness of cardstock. And I would go with two. I would glue two pieces together and go with a thicker piece. And I would go with a stronger adhesive and the other thing that you need to do with this when you're embossing is to use a heat gun and i did not so when you take those three things into account i think this turned out amazing um so uh i may i may do this on delray's door uh on the 68 with the crooked k he really wants this emblem in the upholstery so I think that'd be really super super cool you can do it with foam as well um, I haven't played with it but um, we can um, I got a couple more samples and, and trials to do before I uh, decide what to do with that so we'll go see what Christopher's doing there's music going again there, I'm a certified get welder right there. A little grinder paint, make you the welder yank. That's right. <laughs> 